Hi there, I'm Greg Kong, a video creator, and you're probably here because you're looking to sharpen your footage in Final Cut Pro X. Uh, happy to say that my sharpening plugin will help you do that and then some. The sharpening plugin allows you more flexibility for sharpening, allow you to adjust the intensity, the mix, and the radius. And I've tested it on the current Mac and Final Cut Pro X versions as of May 2020 and that is 10.4.8 on Final Cut Pro X and the Mac OS 10.15.3. So you can go ahead and watch how I install the video and how I apply it to some test footage. What's up guys? So when you first download the Final Cut Pro X plugin and you realize it doesn't work one of the problems is that you need to have installed a third-party plugin before. So uh, I put a link for you to download that. If you look at the main sharpening page and it's under the troubleshooting section, there is a link. So if you click that, that'll just take you to a Dropbox download. And this is a color grade preset by Luster and it's actually a good preset to install and you can double click on it once you have unzipped it and the Mac will complain that it's not a recognized developer so it won't install so what I recommend is two options you can download another preset that you're comfortable with or you can simply go, if you're comfortable with it, you can go to System Preferences and you'll need your admin password. Just go to General and then look over here for Allow Apps Downloaded From and look at the bottom. Okay, and then just select Open Anyway. All right, and then we will just follow the installation instructions. Great. Okay, so we can move this to the bin after, and I really like this broadcast safe filter. And there we go. So that's installed. Next, we can take the sharpening plugin. So first of all, So we are using Mac OS Catalina 10.15.3 on an iMac 2017. So where we want to go is we want to find the movies folder. If you have trouble finding that, you can go over to your Go on your Mac. Press Option if you don't see Home or Library and navigate your way over to Movies and where we want to be is motion templates and effects. So this is where we want to paste the sharpen adjustable V3 effect and we just want to make sure we've got all these files in that folder there before we launch Final Cut Pro X. So we'll leave that open and again we're running 10.15.3 and we'll just launch Final Cut Pro X. All right, we're running version 10.4.8. So as of May 2020, this is the current version. Right. 
Okay, so I've put a clip into the timeline. This is shot with a Canon SLR, so it's not the sharpest. And hopefully it's a, a good example. I'm just going to color it a little bit so it's a little bit more apparent. And we'll just zoom in, let's say 200%. Okay, so to find the effect, you can click on your effects using the icon there. And looks like we don't have a sharpen menu there, but we can go to the search bar and we've got our sharpen adjustable effect. So we can apply that and we can see the difference that this effect makes. So let's go over to the sharpen menu. So we see here without the sharpen adjustable effect and with the effect. And we've got options, a lot of options here to control the intensity. We can control the amount. So you can see it makes quite a significant difference. And we can change the mix. And if you're unclear of what these three options do, over here. So intensity sets the radius for the effect amount adjusts the contrast and mix sets the percentage of the original image to be blended with the sharpened image. So play around with those three options and I think you'll get a lot of uh, ability to sharpen your image the way that you want. You can see uh, with the sharpen effect and I've just, you know, I've just uh, experimented there. We take that off. We can see there's a there's a big difference. Let's take off the color filter and we can apply the sharpen effect. So we can see that it's quite powerful. There's a lot of options there and if I wanted to sharpen this pretty nicely, you can see that did the job. Take it off, on. Okay, so that's the sharpen adjustable effect. It looks like in the current version of the Final Cut Pro X and the Catalina operating system that it's not uh, creating a menu item here under the effects. I will look into that, but you can definitely access the sharpen effect by just searching under the, the field under effects. So again, we are running Final Cut Pro X 10.4.8 and we're running Mac OS Catalina version 10.15.3. So uh, if you want to buy the package, the link is below in the video. Thanks a lot for your business and I hope this helps you out a lot. And if you're interested in some of my other Final Cut Pro X products, I have a Final Cut Pro X complete guide course. I also have a video editing course that includes Adobe Premiere 2020 if you're interested in learning video editing with both. And I also have some travel intros if you're looking for some new intros and you want a travel background. Uh, I will put links to that product below. All right, hope that helps you out and see ya. So thanks for watching the video. Hopefully it helps you out. If you want to purchase the sharpening plugin, please click the links here or there to download the package is a zip file with all the files you need, including a tutorial. And if you're interested in some of my future Final Cup 